But actually, the rupee had a fairly rough start. Uh, it closed at uh, uh, 63.89 yesterday, and the first tick itself was 64.09 or thereabouts, and now stands at 64.17. Uh, let's get an expert in on the rupee. Khun Go, the senior forex strategist at ANZ Research, joins us on the phone line from Singapore. Uh, Khun, good morning. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, do you see more weakness? What's creating today's early morning weakness in the rupee? Hi, good morning to you. Uh, the market has been very disappointed by comments from uh, RBI Governor Rajan. Uh, although he delivered uh, an expected rate cut, uh, the fact that his comments suggest that this is the end of the rate cut cycle uh, and that he um, is unlikely to be delivering further rate cuts has uh, severely disappointed the markets. Uh, that's why we've seen the, the rupee sell off and uh, the equity market performing uh, very, very poorly. Uh, so sentiment at the moment is not great um, towards uh, Indian assets, um, and particularly at a time when we're starting to see U.S. Uh, yields moving higher. Uh, that's also another factor that's also starting to weigh um, on the rupee as well. Uh, I think near term, there's uh, certainly further uh, downward pressure to come from on, on the rupee as uh, we are likely to see more foreign investors deciding to um, you know, reduce their overweight position in Indian assets. So I think near term, we'll probably see a bit more downward pressure on the rupee. So what could that downward pressure be in the near term and what's your target for the rupee by the end of the year? Yeah, we're looking at 65 by the end of the year, uh, and you know, already it's uh, well and truly broken past uh, 64, currently at 64.2. Uh, I don't expect the rupee to depreciate too sharply, uh, given that the RBI will be there to try and cap uh, volatility, uh, and they do have a lot of reserves now uh, in order to do that. But the RBI will not stand in a way of uh, uh, allowing a rupee to depreciate, particularly if it's in line with uh, the other regional currencies. And this is where the, um, the role of the U.S. dollar really comes into play and uh, Fed policy. Uh, because what we expect is for the U.S. Federal Reserve to start increasing interest rates over there in September. We're already starting to see U.S. yields rise, uh, partly in anticipation of that. Um, so dollar strength is also another factor that will also weigh on uh, to rupee as well. All right, we leave it at that. Kungo, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so sentiment turning negative uh, on the rupee.